Today, we're talking about the CCNA. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And today, I'm really excited because we are starting a new series where we are talking more in depth with certifications. And the first certification that I wanna start out with is the CCNA. That's the Cisco Certified Network Associate. Now I know we're skipping the CSENT right now, but we will be covering the CSENT in another video. The CCNA is a mid-level certification from Cisco. The CCNA has many different areas within the actual certification line, and we are gonna cover a lot of those, but we're gonna kinda of give you a little background in how much the CCNA costs, where you could take it, and what it actually pays. So how much does the CCNA cost? It's about 300 US dollars as of today, which is September 6th, 2018. So that could change at any time, but as of today, the cost for any of the CCNAs is $300. If you are wondering where you can take the CCNA exam, you can go to the Pearson VUE website, www.vue slash Cisco. That will take you to the Pearson website where you can look at the different exam centers. It'll give you more information. And then you can actually sign up from there to take a CCNA exam. The CCNA is good for three years. So that means when your three years runs up from the time that you got certified in that CCNA, you have to renew it but you don't necessarily have to renew the same exam. You could advance and you could take another CCNA, like CCNA wireless or CCNA uh, routing and switching, for instance, and that will renew your previous CCNA exam. So that's something that you should keep in mind as you are looking into taking different CCNA exams. You do have to renew at some point. So one of the biggest questions that I always get is how much different jobs, certifications, degrees will end up paying you. And just so I can be clear, that is going to vary based on location and what the job actually wants to pay for you having a CCNA certification. So there's, there is actually a few variables that need to be taken into place here. So I'm gonna give you kind of a rough overview of what some salary expectations could be, but again, it could vary. So don't take my word as this is concrete. This is the, the most accurate advice that I can give you based on what I've researched so far. So there actually is a big difference here because if you are a female who is holding your CCNA, you actually make more money based on research that I've looked up. The average salary for a female CCNA is between $55,000 and $90,000 per year. The average male salary is $53,000 to $89,000 a year. So those are kind of just a, a general range of different salaries that you can find with a CCNA. There are other factors that come into place with the salary range based on experience, maybe other certifications, maybe a degree. So don't think that just because you get a CCNA that you are immediately going to make like $80,000 a year. That's highly unlikely, although it could happen, highly unlikely. So that's why I put there, are you guaranteed to make that much? No, you are not guaranteed to make that much money. You can, but again, location, experience, degrees, a lot of variables that are taken into place here. So. Make sure that you pay attention to that. So the highest populated areas of CCNA holders are New York City, Chicago, and Atlanta. Meaning that there's a very large market of IT professionals who hold their CCNAs in those areas. And here I listed the CCNA median salary as of 2018 and it shows the different cities and the average that they're being paid based on the, those locations. That's an average does not mean that you are entitled to $76,000 per year in New York City, for instance. So there's salary estimates based on experience. And you can see here less than one year, you're looking at about $45,000 a year, one to four years, 53,000, five to nine years, 67,000. I will put a link in the description to the show notes so you can look at all this even further, and I will mention that again later on in this video. And salary estimate by job title. So if you are a network engineer, $66,000 per year is the median salary for that specific job title. Senior network engineer, $89,000 per year uh, based on that job title. Again, that's a that's a median. The, the website that I use to get all this information will be able to show you uh, the website where I... Where did, did I get all this information, first of all? That'd be a great question to ask, answer.
So again, these are just estimates based on job titles. And this was pulled from a lot of different people who hold their CCNAs. A lot of the information that I obtained from this video was from infosecinstitute.com. So you guys can head over there. I'll put a link in the description as well. So you can see that they actually pulled a lot of different people to get some of this information. So now let's talk about the CCNA exams because there are a few of them. There is not a single CCNA exam that you can go and take that will get you certified. There are multiple CCNA uh, exams that you can go take that will get you certified. To start it off, we're gonna talk about CCNA Cloud. Uh, the Cloud is the 210-451 and 210-455, uh, Cloud Fundamentals and Cloud Administration. So you can take one of those exams and you will have a CCNA Cloud. Uh, there's the CCNA Collaboration, the 210-060 and the 210-065, uh, that's uh, Cisco Collaboration Devices and Video Network uh, devices. The video network devices is the CIVND1 and the CIVND2. So there are actually two exams for that specific certification line. Uh, there's a CCNA Cyber Ops, the 210-250 and the 210-255. That's the Cybersecurity Fundamentals and Cybersecurity Operations. I am looking at a screen. I do have to cheat. I don't know these off of the top of my head. I apologize. Uh, there's also the CCNA Data Center, which is the 200-150 and the 200-155. Uh, it's the Data Center Networking and Data Center Networking Technologies. Uh, there's also the CCNA Industrial, which is the 200-601, Managing Industrial Networking for Manufacturing with Cisco Technologies. That specific certification really ties into your industrial environments, which in a manufacturing environment, there is a lot in play with how your network works. There are a lot of wireless devices that talk back to a lot of the different systems to manage inventory and things like that. So this one is actually kind of a big deal if you are in an industrial role in networking. Uh, there's the CCNA security, which is the 210-260. It's network security. That's a big one. That is definitely going to be really popular right now. There's a CCNA service provider, the 640-875 and the 640-878. Service provider next generation networks. So there's actually two exams there, the SPNG1 and the SPNG2. There's the CCNA wireless. So the CCNA wireless is the 200-355, the wireless network fundamentals. So that is also kind of a big one as far as Cisco certifications go because everybody is using wireless. So specializing in something like the CCNA wireless is definitely a good idea. And it's a good idea just to get those kind of that fundamental knowledge of the actual wireless side of networking because there are definitely differences between how a wireless network can operate and a hardwired network can operate. And to top this list off, there's the CCNA routing and switching. This could be considered the default CCNA exam as it's been around forever. Obviously Cisco's kind of changed things around a little bit, but this would be considered kind of the default CCNA certification that you can go and take. And you may have heard these terms before, the ICND-1 and the ICND-2. Those are two of the exams that you could take to get a CCNA as well. That, those are all tied into this routing and switching exam. And there's also the 200-125, which is networking devices accelerated. Again, the CCNA routing and switching is kind of considered the default CCNA certification. So this was just kind of a rough overview of the CCNA, how much it costs, where you can go take it, and kind of an overview of the different exams that you can find as well. In future videos, we will talk more in depth on each different CCNA, so we can go more in depth with CCNA wireless, uh, the CCNA routing and switching and things like that. But for right now, we're just kind of covering the basics that you might wanna know about the different certifications and giving you kind of the fundamental information about these exams. I'm going to put a link to the show notes in the description, which has a lot more information in it and a few different links and things like that. So that way you guys can go out and you could look at more information research on your own. In the show notes link, you're also going to find a CCNA course outline, which is kind of going to give you the different information within the different courses on the specifics that they are looking for that you need to know. So go check out those links so you can get more information and stay up to date. And if you're looking to get your CCNA, I wish you good luck and I hope you pass that test. If you guys are looking for different study resources, I will put a link in the description below for Skillsoft, Pluralsight, IT Pro TV, and CBT Nuggets. Those are all really great resources that you can use to study your CCNA exams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the new series that we're trying to put together here because we're trying to give you the most information that we can. And we're starting at the 
very beginning and we are going to be working our way towards all the more advanced things that you could find in the IT world. We are trying our hardest to be that resource for you to give you the information that you are looking for on IT careers. That's what this channel is all about, I'm trying to help you guys out the best that I possibly can. If you guys can leave some feedback in the comments below, I would greatly appreciate that. I love hearing your feedback, whether it is good or bad. So if you're gonna give this video a thumbs down, please leave a comment and tell me why you're giving it a thumbs down. I don't mind that you're giving it a thumbs down. That's fine. Everybody is titled to their own opinion, but I would love to hear from you guys, good or bad, on what you are looking for from this channel. So thank you again for watching. As always, take it easy.